Hello everyone, welcome to another battle report for my channel. Uh, today we have a 1500 point game of push that pits me playing Kingdoms of Man versus Ghetto Fabulous uh, playing Night Stalkers. Uh, we're doing a 1500 point format for a little while. We have a tournament coming up locally that's 1500 points. We're trying to attract some new players to the game. Um, and we're trying to just lower our points down a little bit to see if that helps. So, uh, the Kingdoms of Man list says follows a heavy pike block horde with Pathfinder item. A horde of foot guard with the two-handed weapon upgrade and the blessing of the gods. I guess the two-handed weapon upgrade is more of a side grade because you don't pay for it. But anyway. Uh, regiment of Knights with a blade of slashing. Two berserker troops. One shield wall troop. One general mounted. One wizard mounted with paint chant, lightning bolt, and the inspiring talisman. And whoa, three pieces of siege artillery. The Night Stalker list is as follows. There are three fiend hordes. Uh, I think one of them has Pathfinder, one of them has Headstrong, and I think one of them has a Scrying Gem. Um, there's a Regiment of Fiends, two Specter Troops, a two Shadow Hulks, and a Planar Apparition. So, uh, in deployment, we can go from right to left. I believe that first uh, purple-based horde of fiends is the Scrying Gem one. I think. The uh, orange one next to them is the Pathfinder one. And then there's Regiment of Fiends in the front. Um, that white troop there is the Spectres. Uh, next to the Spectres is the Shadow Hulk. And then next to the Shadow Hulk, the Planar Apparition. Uh, again, from right to left, from the middle. Uh, troop of Spectres, a Shadow Hulk, and I believe that is that last horde of fiends is the Headstrong one. You can see the token in the middle. Because we are playing push. Uh, Kingdoms of Man from right to left. I'm sorry, this is a little out. But troop of berserkers. And then in front of the... Behind the fence is a troop of shield wall. Behind them is the horde of foot guard. Uh, wizard next to them. Um, the horde of pikes next to the wizard. In front of the horde of pikes is a shield wall troop. Uh, next to them is a knight regiment, and behind the knight, or next to the knight regiment, is the general on a horse. So, uh, deployment, you can see it ended up like this. Uh, we rolled up for tokens, and we got one for each side, so I dropped my token on my foot guard. Uh, for me, it's not a really big deal. Um, they're pretty solid unit, and my speed 5 is speed 5 anyway. Uh, he puts his token on his Shadow Hulk. Over there. So, turn one. Turn one. Humans uh, roll the uh, option to take the initiative. And I generally do when i playing humans, just because of the siege artillery. So I take first turn, and I push forward. Um, not super aggressively on the right, but uh, you can see here on the left, uh, more aggressively. Um, of course, I can't march over the fence, but, you know, we're getting up into position. Shooting, um, we put a few wounds on the Shadow Hulk with the Caesar Artillery and um, the Spectres. I'd, I'd never played Spectres before, and I, and I looked them up um, in the book, and I saw that they were super, they were like a 10, 12 nerve in Defense 3, so I was like, well, that's the most perfect Lightning Bolt target uh, in this whole army, and turns out, yes, it was. So that's that's who's going to be picking on the Spectres all game. Um, so yeah, so that's just what it looks like. Um, Turn one for the Night Stalkers, which I somebody's put an S, so Stalkers. Um, he moves up a little bit. On this side, he comes flying forward a little bit more with his uh, fiends trying to get around me, and that's that's fine. Um, on the other side here, you can see he is a little more conservative, um, but he, yeah. Uh, a little bit of shooting from the Spectres. Put some wounds on my uh, Berserker Troop, but they're cool. Uh, and then some healing goes into the uh, Shadow Hulk. So, the end of turn one looks like such. Turn two. Uh, turn two, Kingdoms of Men. Um, again, I continue my more aggressive left side and less aggressive right side approach. Um, I have... Feeling pretty good about uh, my current strategy is essentially just to grab that token in the middle and just try to make sure that those two tokens make it to the side of the board, which, I mean, I guess that's the point of the game, uh, and just then uh, hopefully slow them down on the other side. 
So you can see him doing that. And then over here. So um, I don't need to rush out. Those knights are just as fast as anything he has. And those pikes can certainly take plenty of abuse from charges. So uh, we go into shooting. Um, and it's another pretty good shooting phase. Uh, my artillery is landing at least reasonably well. Um, and again, like I said, those, those specters are pretty fragile. So uh, I was able to pick those guys off with my wizard. Super awesome. Uh, but not the uh, Shadow Hulk, but they have a really high nerve. So uh, that's what it looks like. The yeah, men. Turn two. Um, so Night Stalker's turn two. Not a lot to report. He, I think he did some healing on his Shadow Hulk there. Um, you can see he's moving. Uh, he's kind of making a redressed battle line. You can see over on the other side. Um, certainly putting himself in range and not giving me too many options. This is pretty standard. So, yeah, not much to report. Turn three. Uh, turn three, uh, Kingdoms of Men. I do hold back a little bit. Um, I'm still going forward. My my foot guard are still moving up. Um, I don't want to necessarily give too many counter charges, um, especially not on, th on things like not pikes in the front. Um, my, my foot guard are, are sturdy, but they're not, they're not impregnable and they're only defense four. So, um, just me doing a little maneuvering around like that, trying to use my chaff as best I can on the left and on the right, I perform operations, slow down the enemy. Um, I send the Knights into the regiment of fiends, um, expecting to kill them. And then the um, general goes into the horde of fiends, not to kill them, of course, but um, I don't want his horde of fiends getting um, free, you know, charging things, uh, flanking my knights. It's just a way to pin them down. I don't need that general to win. Um, he can go hang out and, you know, maybe he'll survive a turn, maybe he won't, but that's what he's got to do. Um, shooting. Uh, we zap, we start zapping the specters, uh, and my siege artillery keeps doing what it does, um, and picking off his, his guys. The, um, the shooting, if you can shoot night stalkers, it's, it's one of these things where they, they don't have native inspiring and, and because they don't have native inspiring, as long as you're not inspiring them, you know, it's shooting's a real pain in the butt. So anyway, picking off more stuff, which is pretty sweet. Um, we go into combat, and of course, well, the general puts a couple wounds on, which was which is fine. Um, but then we go in, we go in, and, and my and my knights they hit they hit really well, or I don't know what happened honestly. I think they hit okay, um, and then I just just rolled a whole slew of ones or something to to wound them. It was it was just embarrassing, and and in the end, I'm actually fine that they failed to kill the fiends. Um, but because, because it, it, it ends up like actually holding him up more, um, because now the, the, the horde of fiends behind him is stuck. So, you know, I like, yeah, I was like, no, no, this isn't actually that bad. So, um, so the end of men three, the end of men three, um, so uh, we go into Night Stalkers three. So he double charges my general. Uh, he sends in the um, Shadow Hulk and the fiends in the front. Um, and so his fiends counter charge my knights down there at the bottom. And then again, like I said, his horde of fiends actually then got blocked up a little bit. Um, there wasn't really anywhere for them to go or to contribute uh, because how this all ended up, which would actually end up being just fine. On the other side. His horde of fiends um, moves up, giving a flank to my shield wall, but uh, no other optional charges. Um, he's not too worried about a flank from a shield wall, and I don't blame him. Um, so here's some close-ups of those. Uh, I don't think he shot anything, so or healed anything. I don't, I don't know. Anyway. Um, so the fiends go back in. Uh, they do a whole whopping one damage, so... Unfortunately, my knights lose their thunderous charge, but they are okay. Uh, over on this side, um, not not surprisingly, my general routes. 
<laughs> and then after he killed my general, he re he realized that he did the combats in the wrong order, um, and can overrun into my knights, even if he had rolled it. But I don't I don't think he rolled it. So um, he had a knight stalkers three. Uh, men turn four. Um, this isn't. This is before movement, so yeah, you know that one. Anyway, um, my berserkers go running up. They don't charge anybody, but my uh, intention is to clog up his fiends, um, knowing that his um, uh, what, is, what is that thing? The shadow hulk's in the way too, so they're just gonna go stand up there and die because that's that's their job. Uh, my pikes move up a little bit. My knights go back into the fiend regiment. Um, over here, my berserkers keep swinging around. My uh, foot guard troop, or not foot guard, but a uh, shield wall troop go into the flank of those fiends because why not? Um, and then my uh, foot guard regiment just keeps moving up as such. So, yeah, that's what it looks like uh, over there. Um, Oh no, this was a mistake. Okay, yep, cheated. Um, his, so for some reason, I decided, I must have thought that his, yep, yep I must have thought that his uh, Shadow Hulk had actually charged my knights. And so afterwards looking at it, I said, oh, he must have charged them, so I can pick who I counter charge. I am pretty sure I wouldn't have been able to see him, and so this would have been illegal, so I apologize for this. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter, but yeah. Uh, shooting. Uh, I shoot. Well, it, it might matter. I shoot and I waver the, <laughs> the specters again, so that's funny. Um, we're going to combat. Uh, the shield wall does a six damage to the fiends, which isn't even close to bothering them. I think I ended up rolling like a 10, though, so I was just like a one under, like a waiver, which was funny. And the knights do a little bit of damage to the Shadow Hulk, but nothing nothing to write home about. And I can't believe I did that. He, James didn't notice that either. That's funny. So, so the end of four, we look like such. Everybody bounced off. Um, so, Night Stalkers turn four. The Horde of Fiends that was on the left charges the pikes in the front. Um, the Horde of Fiends in the woods charges the, uh, the Berserker troop. Um, the Shadow Hulk and the Fiends, you can see here, double charge my knights. So that's fine. Um, a little bit of healing goes off on the Spectres. Combat, um, the combined force of these two fine people take out my knights, who cheated anyway, so that's good. Uh, my Berserkers, uh, not surprisingly, die very easily to these, um, to these uh, Horde of Fiends. Um, my Pikes um, do a fine job of being Pikes, only taking six damage, but my opponent rolled double sixes, so that's not good. Um, the, the reason this really matters is you can see in this next picture, um, now, now my Pikes are, are super flankable. Um, if my Pikes hadn't been wavered, I could have countercharged. I would have picked up those guys because they got a paint chant right there. They already have six wounds on them. Um, but now, now the pikes are toast. So I'll try not to rain about double sixes, but yeah. Um, so uh, that's what it looks like at the end of Nice Talkers turn four. So humans turn five. Um, nothing too exciting. We just keep moving around. You can see I have now picked up that middle token with my uh, foot guard. Um, all my troops are just moving around, and my pikes are standing there, because that's all they could do. Um, I think I tried to shoot something, but it doesn't matter. Nope. Nope, lion. I do shoot. <laughs> I shoot. I shoot. I wave, I wave the specters again. So, that's always really funny. Um, yeah. Uh, that, that, that puts a smile on my face after that route, or that waiver. Anyway, so... Uh, Nice Stalker's turn five. Uh, he moves his regiment of fiends out of the way, so his horde of fiends can flank my pikes to seal their doom. Um, to super seal their doom, he also sends the um, fiends back into the front of the pikes, and then the uh, the Shadow Hulk goes in as well. Um, yeah, so you can see all that happening. 
Uh, good time not to be a pikeman, and here's a new shot of that. Um, not, not a good time to be a pikeman. Um, I think he, he. This is me showing he heals a Shadow Hulk. I just forgot to put the uh, the item in, the thing in. So um, of course the pikes were out, uh, and he ends up like this. So yeah, so the end of the uh, nice talk is turn five. So turn six, turn six men. Um, my <laughs> my foot guard do a ninety degree pivot and get out of dodge. Uh, heading over to this side of the table, um, which does put them on it. There is half of the table. Uh, my trash uh, goes and sets up to be trash. Um, I don't have any need to attack or fight anything, so um, mainly the point being not to let him touch my foot card. So that's what they do. Um, <laughs> my my wizard, my wizard <laughs> zaps his specters and then wavers them again. So awesome uh, not only not only they can they not do anything they're also now in the way <laughs> so that's fun um so the end of the end of men six looks like such um nice docker's turn six he charges my foot guard in the rear with his planar apparition um he moves his fiends up as such um Don't know. I think we made another mistake here because it looks like his specters charge my um, berserkers, and I, and they were wavered. So I think I think that's another mistake, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, and of course, he double charges my uh, shield wall, who are who are in this game to die, and they finally they finally get to die. So that's that's what that looks like. Um, the planar apparition in the rear of these guys does. You know, Three damage, and that that's fine. Um, of course, the shield wall die, uh, as they were destined to do. Uh, and then we go on and see if there is a turn seven, and there is not. So uh, the end of the game looks like this. Um, yeah, he got he's got his token on his side of the board on his um, shadow hulk. I've got two tokens on his side of the board with my foot guard. And that's that. So results. Uh, Kingdom of Men get four points because we are playing push. And the Night Stalkers get one point. So a solid Kingdoms of Men victory. Um, some general thoughts. Uh, I do think I'm going to uh, swap that Pathfinder item back over to the uh, Knights. Um, I don't... I, I think they, they need it. I need to try to get a charge off with those Knights. All right. Not necessarily expecting the charge to get off, but at least it'll give him a better threat range. So you can't just move up to him in the woods. I don't know, that's more of the idea. I don't. I don't actually expect them to do a lot, but they at least need to project some sort of threat. Um, so say, you know, I'm really grown to love these berserker troops. Um, for hundred for hundred points, they're a darn good little unit. Um, Ten attacks, hitting on threes, crushing one, twelve, just unwavable nerve. It's, you know, it's Pretty, pretty good, pretty good little set of guys. Um, yeah, and I mean, I've, I've probably complained about this enough. I'm just not a, I'm just not generally a fan of how they did the double ones, double sixes rule. Um, I know this is subjective, and it's, and it's, it's not like I have science to back this up. Um, but it's, it's just one of those things where like my, my pikes got scratched, right? Like they they weren't they weren't gonna die they weren't in any mortal danger I mean I you know I'm projecting here in myself into this battle but if it's just like a, you know a fifth of my points just sits down because they were like a little scared or something I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of it um, I I think it should be toned down a little bit um, so that waivers only actually matter when you hit a waiver mark and then the double ones and I would argue that double ones if exceeding your route value should still waver you um that takes out like this it's not a completely like reversal of course that unit still wavered um but anyway this probably isn't the place or time for this i just you know it's a thing so uh, it, it was a good game though it's it's always fun to play um ghetto ghetto fabulous i think is his, his, his youtube channel um 
it's, it's quick, it's fun, it's, it's it's a great game. Kings of War has been a, a fantastic experience, as you can tell by the number of battle reports I put out. So, as we continue to ramble, um, take care, guys, and, and, we'll, and we'll catch you next time. Goodbye.